What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Trevenant team that also features Politoed and Ludicolo. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But in my most recent, or not most recent, in one of my recent videos, we already showcased Politoed and Ludicolo, who are hands down a top tier combo within this game at the moment. But today, we're showcasing Trevenant. And Trevenant is an all time favorite of mine. Absolutely love its typing and just love everything that it does. So, super excited to be showcasing it in today's video. But Trevenant is going to be our first Pokemon that we do talk about with Harvest and the Citrus Berry as its item. So it can eat that Citrus Berry when its HP falls below half and then use its ability to harvest another berry, giving it more berries. So in essence, we can constantly get a stream of HP back from our berry and harvesting it. We also have Imprison and Trick Room, which is a perfect way to counter Trick Room Peens. Then we got Leech Seed for even more HP recovery and Horn Leech for a stab hitting move with more HP recovery. So this Pokemon is just built to just basically just soak up some shots, HP recovery all day, and kind of go from there. We got Politoed in our second slot. Politoed is a perfect weather control Pokemon and pairs up perfectly with Ludicolo. It's got Hypnosis, Earth Power, Ice Beam, and Hydro Pump with a Choice Scarf as its item. Ludicolo in our third slot, and obviously it is rocking that ability of Swift Swim to double its speed in that rain. It's got Assault Vest with a great move set of Fake Out, Icy Wind, Giga Drain, and Hydro Pump. To pair up perfectly with Politoed and this rain team, Water Urshfu is on this squad with Unseen Fist and the Focus Ash, then the Tech, Aqua Jet, Close Combat, and Surging Strikes. Tornadus is in our fifth slot, working as a nice little support Pokemon for this team with the Prankster and the Cobra Cloak. There's Taunt, Tailwind, Icy Wind, and Bleak Wind Storm. And our final slot is going to be Sheer Force Landers with a Life Orb and then a beautiful moveset of Protect, Calm Mind for that stat boost, Terror Blast with the Ice Terror type, and Sandseer Storm to pair up that's going to hit 100% of the time with the Drizzle Polytone. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder, try to showcase Trevenant with this Regulation E team. Loading into match number one for today's video, and I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. Forgot to do it in the team preview, so huge shout out to That's Plus One for making this team. If you guys want to check out more details on this team or get the Poke Pace, make sure you guys head over to his channel. I will be linking it down in the description below. But first match is on its way. We're going up against a Bruxish team with Sinisha, Shen Pao, Iron Hands, Armouge, and Indeedy. So Trevenant seems like a great lead for me here because I can always imprison Trick Room if they are going to go into a Trick Room lead. And on top of that, we can't be faked out so it's going to be beautiful because we are a ghost type. But I want to see this Pokemon's speed and I want to see its stats. And its attack stats, decent. He's rather bulky, but this Pokemon's here. There's out bulk some Pokemon, get some HP recovery, and kind of go from there. So I'm definitely leading it. I'm either just going to start imprisoning Trick Room or start setting up some lead seeds. So from here, I am going to lead the Urshifu. I think Urshifu is going to be a solid lead here. It can hit like a truck. It can kind of do a lot. We can pretty much get after the battle that way. So I'm going to go Urshifu. And then in the back end, we're going in with the Rain Squad. We got to bring Politoed. We got to bring a Ludicolo. I love it so much. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves one here in match number one. But a Pokemon I am a little scared of is going to be Shen Pao. Obviously, Sucker Punch is going to be a little bit of a problem when going up against Trevenant. But again, I think they are going to be leading some sort of Trick Room combo. So I might just imprison Trick Room first turn. As I can see, Iron Hands come out here for lead. I can see Indeedy Armor Rouge. Or I could just see like Sinistra coming out here because that Pokemon does learn Trick Room. And it is actually a decent Trick Room setter. So we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. They're going to end up going into Shen Pao and Bruxius. So Shen Pao and Bruxius is a little weird, right? Definitely is a little weird. It's kind of making me force Terror type on Trevenant, right? What Terror type do you even have? I'm curious. I'm curious. You do have a nice little Dark Terror type, so it actually works out perfectly. And from here, honestly, I'm just gonna Leech Seed, or not Leech Seed. I'm just gonna Horn Leech here, get some big time damage, and then go into Surgeon Strikes in the Shen Pal. And the reason I'm going into Surgeon Strikes rather than Close Combat is because chances are. Shen Pao's got Focus Ash, so we might as well use a triple hitting move rather than a single hitting move. And we keep our defense on top of that. So I'm going to Terrasilize Trevenant, just in case they're going for the Sucker Punch. We will Terrasilize in the Dark, which is a lovely typing to counter all of that Dark type coming into us. The nice little Terra, we are hoping Sucker Punch is flying. 
And he's gonna go for a psychic face. You are fast. You're choice scarf, aren't you? You are choice scarf, little booger. Little choice scarf action going on with the Bruxious. Hit me hard with Psychic Fangs. And we're going to see a throw chop coming in this slot. So good terror type for us. We're thriving now. So from here, Surge Strike's going to pop. I don't know why the match looks super laggy right now. It's kind of weird, doesn't it? Doesn't the match look so laggy? Why is it like that? It looks so bad. It looks so bad. But we're going to bring uh, Shen Pao down to 1 HP, which is big time for us. And then from here, we're going to be able to Horn Leech and get back a ton of HP. And on top of that, we're KO and Bruxious. But why does it look laggy? Like, come on, man. Why does it look like that? I never really had this problem before. It looks like it's running at like 30 frames a second rather than 60. Right? It's just something looks a little off. Something definitely does look a little off. Just know it's not my recording. It's not my recording because I, I, can, I can record, upload, and all that in a smooth 60 frames a second. Smooth, no problem. I can actually do more if I want to. But this game only runs at 60, so there's no point. But from here, I am just going to... But imprison Trick Room? Yeah, I'm going to imprison Trick Room here. And I am just going to Aqua Jet to finish off the Shen Pao. So I'm going to imprison Trick Room. I'm going to say, yo, that's not allowed here. And he's going to end up with drawing Shen Pao. So he ends up with drawing Shen Pao, and I believe he's going to try to set up Trick Room. So that's why I'm imprisoning it. Because you are going to go into Indeedee. So the Trick Room combo seems to be the play. And I'll have some great Pokemon for back end support. So he's gonna end up Terrasslasting. I, again, I really do think Trick Room's gonna come out here, so I did imprison it. And then from there, I can just start setting up Leech Seeds if I want to. But we used Aqua Jet, it's gonna do nothing due to the terrain right here. And he's gonna Terrasslas into Grass. Do I have anything to deal with that? And I have some Ice moves on the other Pokemon. But I simply cannot go into. Oh, you're rocking Expanded Force. That's a little scary. So he doesn't end up Trick Room. I and mean, that's fine though, because I'm still gonna imprison it and just not allow it for later play. And from here, I'm probably just gonna go into Politoed, right? Let's just rip into Politoed. I was say, yo, no Trick Room. So I'm gonna Leech Seed the Indeedee. I think it's gonna be one of my better plays. And I'm just gonna go into you, right? Hmm. I got Fake Out on you, but I'd rather have Poly to come out here because the Pokemon that I need to get rid of is going to be Armors. So I'm going to set up a Leech Seed onto the Indeedee. I'm going to start taking some HP. I'll kind of start going from there, right? We do have the Choice Scarf on him as well, which I like. So from here, I'm going to set up the Leech Seed right on you and I'm going to choice an Ice Beam. It's definitely the best bet. It's definitely the best bet because we do need a Pokemon to get rid of this Armors. This Armors is a tad bit of a problem, right? Huge problem, especially with Expanded Force. So we'll see what indeed he wants to go into. Is he just going to protect armors? There is a possibility for that. We're kind of hoping it doesn't have Terra Blast, but he ends up going for a Helping Hand here. So Helping Hand comes out here. Trevenant is going to set up a nice, lovely Leech Seed. I'm going to pop an Ice Beam. And maybe I can get a Freeze here. That's some nice damage, Polytoad. That is some great damage. That is some lovely damage, Polytoad. So Expanded Force comes out of here. That's terrifying me. Can you strike that up, Polytoad? You don't. You're getting hit like a truck. But we do get the rain set up, which is beautiful. So Rain's out here. We know we can't fake out because it's Rain. He's going to lose some HP due to that life work. So Trevenant's still on the board, which I really like. We still have our Berry. We got Leech Seed set up. It's time to start attacking. We can bring out we can bring out our boy. And I'm thinking of just going Icy Wind here, right? I'm my best bet. Yeah, Icy Wind just to deal a little bit of damage onto Armorers. And then on top of that, we can hold Leech. I do like that. So from here, Horn Leech into you, and then just Icy Wind across the board. The chances are they're going for a follow me. Yep, there's the follow me. So can Icy Wind KO? There's a chance of it. I think it might. I think it might. Who's dodging this? Who dodged that? Don't tell me Armor Rouge dodged that. Don't tell me Armor Rouge dodged it? Really? Why has Armor Rouge got to dodge that? Now Expanding Force comes out here. Can we eat this? It is orbed. Can you eat this, Ludicolo? Okay, you do eat it. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Wow, this thing would have been dead, which would have been pretty nice. So Horn Leech comes out here. We'll get some HP back. We got Leech Seed doing some work. Rocky Helmet's going to come out here, but it's totally fine. It's no problem. We'll get some HP back from Leech Seed. The Leech Seed's slowly getting the job done. Icy Wind, we just need your land here. 
we pretty much just need you landing. So I'm just going to go for another Horn Leech here. I'm going to go for an Icy Wind. And we'll go from there. So Wygar comes out. You smart cookie. You smart cookie. You real smart cookie. This is scaring me a little bit. He is scaring me, but I think we should be fine as long as both these uh, moves, or as long as Horn Leech lands. Actually, Horn Leech isn't going to be able to KO. Wow, this Arm Rouge is a pain, but Trevenant is getting after it. Dazzling Gleam going to get cooking here. We're going to lose some HP, but again, we still have Berry. We still have Berry. And Ludicolo is surviving, which is massive. So Horn Leech is going to fly through here. It's going to bring it down to red, and Leech Seed should be able to finish that off, which is massive. It's massive. We love it. So we should have rain for a little bit longer. Shen Pao, a little bit of a problem, but if we can go for a 2v1, I think we're fine here. But yo, Trevenant's awesome. <laughs> I'm loving it in this battle. I'm loving Trevenant here. I'm loving this Pokemon right now. So if we get some HP back, he's gonna have, he's forced to send out Shen Pao. And from here, we're just gonna go for yet another Icy Wind. Did we go for an Icy Wind? How many turns are left in rain? That's the real question. Two turns left in rain. Two turns left in rain. We might as well attack you. And we might as well... Did we Icy Wind? I, mm. Hmm. Say we do this. Say we just Horn Leech you. And we just Giga Drain you. So yeah, okay, cool. We make the read. We say he's going for another wide guard. Good thing I did switch my moves and we get after it. So Giga Drain's gonna be able to finish off you. We knew Ludicolo will outspeed Shen Pao in the rain. And then Horn Leech might not be able to KO, but I wanted Ludicolo attacking that Shen Pao slot. So yo, big time plays from us. Big time plays for us. Especially Trevenant. Trevenant's just a problem. And they didn't even see that we had Barry. We had Barry this whole time, Harvest. We didn't fall below half HP, so solid first match for us. We're going to end up taking that dub and showcasing Trevenant really, really well. Second match is on its way. We got a weather war going on here in match number two. We're going up against an Alolan Ninetales and a Alolan Sand Slash Snow team, alongside with Flame Mask Ogre, Ogre Pond and then Milo Tick, Iron Hands, and Tornada. So we definitely want to bring in our weather squad, but we definitely want to be very careful when using it. So I think a nice lead for us is going to be Tornadus. And, and maybe just like Urshifu here. I think that could be pretty good. Or I could just go into Trevenant and potentially Thrasilize, start setting up lead seeds. I like that a lot. And then in the back end, we're going to go Politoed and we're going to go Ludicolo. And we're going to look to win this match here. So I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I could actually go Sand Steer. That's not bad. You're going to be super effective onto a lot. Hmm. That would be clutch. Instead of Ludicolo. Yes. Instead of Ludicolo, we're going in with Landers. I just feel like we get off a lot more value. We have Trevenant for the Grass type already. We have Polito with the Water move. I think Sand Steer and that Ground type is going to be huge because they got the Iron Hands. They got some Ice type Pokemon. We can really rip into them with that Sand Steer Storm Landers. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. But yeah, definitely want Trevenant here just in case they want to lead, say, the Ice Squad. I can always swap into the. Uh, I can swap into the Polito and set the rain from there. Or I can just start setting up Bleach Seeds, which could be ultimately very, very good for us. But we'll see. We're 1 0. Trevenant's really powering through in that match number one. So we'll see how it does here. Because I absolutely love this Pokemon. I love using Pokemon like that are kind of off in that area like this. But Ogre Pond's going to come out here. And Ogre Pond. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about Ogre Pond. I'm not too sure how to feel about that Pokemon. And I'm thinking of just maybe just Bleak Wind Storming here. And then Terrastalizing and Trick Room. And the reason I want to do that is because I think they're setting up Tailwind all day, right? I think they set up Tailwind all day. So if they set up Tailwind, we can potentially Terrastalize, Trick Room, and get after it that way. So, change of plans. They went in with this lead right here. We have Weather in the back end. And we're going to go from there. So I'm going to Terrastalize my boy right here. He probably still dies in one shot, which is really ugly. He probably still dies in one shot to the Ogre Pond, which kind of sucks. And might ruin everything, but... It'd be like that. It'd definitely be like that. So we're going to Terrasalize him regardless. We're going to try to get after him. And Spiky Shield's going to come out here from him. That's fine. That's fine. Are you going for Tailwind? You're not. What are you going for? Are you going for Bleak Wind Storm just like me? You might be. But Trick Room does ultimately help us out because Overpon is so fast. 
The Bleak Windstorm's gonna fly out from him. Can you get some speed drops? Well, we dodge that. Oh, both my Pokemon dodge that. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. And we'll set up a nice lovely trick room. So that kind of works out. I really wanted to set up a Tailwind, but it's fine. From here, we're just gonna rip with this, and I am just going to do a hard swap at this point. No, I might as well attack, right? I might as well attack. I might as well attack. So to end up withdrawing Ogre Palm, which works out fine, we are going into a grass move in that slot. So we'll see who they go into Iron Hands. A little bit of a problem, right? Little bit of a problem. Might want to cancel that Trick Room at this point. The Horn Leech comes through here. It's going to deal a little bit of damage, and I might try to set up a Leech Seed on the hand next turn. The Bleak Wind Storm now flies, dealing some nice damage onto Tornadus, onto Iron Hands, and he ends up going for another Bleak Wind Storm, which one of my Pokemon just dodged. Did I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel bad for this for our opponent. Double Bleak Wind Storm miss? That's ugly. That's ugly. That's real ugly. But from here, I'm just going to Bleak Wind Storm again, and I'm going to try to cancel that Trick Room. Even though he might be going for Drain Punch, but they just cancel battle, which I would too, honestly. That RNG was terrible. We're loading up our third and final match, and that last match was hilarious. I would definitely quit too if I missed two Bleak Wind Storms like that. RNG definitely did our opponent dirty, but we're going up against an Alolan Ninetale team alongside with Mai Shao, I think that's how you pronounce it, and then Chiyu, Fluttermane, King Gambit, and iron bundle from here i definitely want to bring in my weather squad but i'm also going to actually try to go hyper offensive here so i'm going to go tornadus i'm going to also go urshifu then i'm going to go polytoad and landers i really like that we're going to leave ludicolo out of this situation same thing with trevenant and we're going to try to get ripping here in match number three we are 2-0 oh, so this match doesn't really matter for me but i would love to grab you guys another victory before we actually end the video but yeah trevenant was great i'm not going to bring him in this match i just don't really like the matchups for him but I, I love that Pokemon so much. It killed it in match number one. Match number two, it literally just popped the Trick Room and popped the Horn Leech. And then our opponent quit. But I'm loving it. I'm definitely loving it. But they end up going into Double Ice. The Double Ice comes out here. I have Earth Food to actually rip into a lot of these guys. And I think maybe setting up Tailwind or just swapping Weather would be your best call. You know what? I'm going to swap Weather. I'm going to go into a nice, lovely Politoed. And from here, I'm just going to close combat down the Iron Bundle. Because Iron Bundle is a big threat. All around, it's a huge threat. And especially with Urshfu on the field, if it protects, we hit through to protect, and we can really get after it that way. So I'm getting rid of the snow. I want no nothing to do with a roar bell. Every time I go up against a roar bell, it's always a problem. So I'm just trying not to deal with it. So he ends up popping a freeze right. We do a focus ash, which is huge. And hopefully they're trying to pop a roar bell, right? Because I don't think Urshfu outspeeds nine tails. <laughs> that really sucks. That really sucks right there. It's a big time plays from our opponent. We didn't even have to change up weather. Weather did nothing, and we just lose Urshfu like that. So that's real tough. That definitely is tough. That definitely is tough. But from here, I can now go into... Mm, again, this is tough. I'm going to go into a Hydro Pump in this slot. And I'm going to Terrasalize and just go into a Sandseer Storm. He ends up with Joel and Ninetales, he wants weather for later, and Iron Bundle is just such a problem. Legit such a problem. And he ends up going into Fluttermane. So I do have Choice Scarf, and I don't even know if I outspeed that Iron Bundle with the Choice Scarf. I really hope so, because then Hydra Pump can land onto this Fluttermane, and we can really get ripping. So I'm going to Terrasalize just in case the Freeze Strike is going to come into the uh, lander slot. And we'll go from there. But yeah, already off to a rough start. Already off to a real rough start here. Free Stride is going to come into the lander slot, which we love. We're able to soak that now. <laughs> and Sandseer Storm is taking out Iron Bundle. And on top of that, if I land this Hydro Pump, we're sitting in a beautiful position. A beautiful position. Hydro Pump cooking. Let's go. That's massive. I didn't expect the Sandseer Storm to actually take out the Iron Bundle. So with that, that's massive. And that's why uh, Sheer Force Landorus is so strong, especially with the Life Orb. It won't take any Life Orb damage, and it'll get all the additional boost to the attack. So King Gambit comes out here. They're probably going to Terrasalize that Pokemon, and Ninetales is going to come out here for a little bit of weather control. So from here, do I hard swap the Politoed? 
most likely, right? Yeah, we'll hard swap Politoed and we will go into a Sands here storm. Yet again. <coughs> so chances are I'm expecting a Tarras Slides to come out from the Gambit. It just makes the most sense. Yeah. And Ninetales probably setting up an award. Right? Okay, so a nice little Terror type into Dark. And he go for sucker punches, which is kind of scary, right? Kind of scary with the sucker punches. And there's one. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. The sucker punch comes out here. Landers is able to soak. Dazzle Gleam's gonna stay on the field, and Landers is living on one. That is massive. That is massive. That is massive. But from here, I'm just gonna swap into Politoed. And then I'm just going to go for a... No, 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 no. I'm going to go for a Bleak Wind Storm. And I'm going to swap into Politoed here. So I get Weather Control. I think Sucker Punch is coming into the lander slot. So if that's the case, we're going to be able to dodge Sucker Punch as well. We'll really get thriving from there. So a hard swap into Politoed. Show me the Sucker Punch into Politoed slot. Come on, man. This is too easy. We're killing it today. And Bleak Wind Storm should be able to finish off this battle. Come on, man. 3-0. Easy, easy, easy. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0. Fully showcasing this Trevenant team to its fullest potential. In match number one, we killed it with Trevenant. Did not go below half HP. Match number two, our opponent quit due to RNG. And then match number three, Landers just came in there. Popped the Sand Seer Storm. Picked up a double KO. And we just went off from there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.